Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a first impressions video on the Bushwire Healthy Mix Foundation. Um, yeah, I've never tried this before and I've always wanted to, so I thought that I'd pick it up. ASOS was doing a sale, so I picked this up. I think I picked it up for about $13, I believe. I picked up the shade 51, which is light vanilla. And yeah, so let's just give it a go. One fluid ounce in this, which is average for foundation. And on the packaging, I don't seem to be able to see any SPF in it. So let's just start opening this. So just from the packaging, it's just a really, really nice glass packaging with a plastic cap and a pump. Okay. So that's how much you get in one pump. So let's see how this goes. I'm just going to start applying it to one side of my face. I really, really like the smell. If you were sensitive to fragrance, then maybe this wouldn't be the best for you. I do like the color match. The color does seem really, really nice. And I have noticed that the redness has went down a slight bit. I don't know if you can see that much of a difference. I'm just gonna try and pat some under my eyes as well, just to see if it will cover up my dark circles. I think that covered it very, very nicely. That's just one layer. I'm quite happy with it. I would definitely say that upon first application, it is a very light to medium coverage. Like I can still see my blemish on my chin and the one on my cheek, and I can definitely still see my redness. It's just not as prominent. I do like how you can control how much product you're using with this pump. So I'm just going to apply it to my cheek. It's still a little bit sticky, so I'm not too sure if that's the nature of it. But I am going to do my second layer now. I should have done it to the other side. Whatever. Um, and this time I'm just going to apply it where I do need the most coverage. And I'm just going to pat up and down. So stippling motions. Okay, so upon my second layer, I can still slightly see my redness. You can't really in camera, but I can definitely still see it on the apples on my cheeks. Um, yeah, it never covered up any of my dark spots on the sides of my face. It did mostly cover up the blemish that I have on my chin, and I didn't apply it anymore under my eyes. I kind of just patted under there. So I do think you would still need an under eye concealer. I do think you would still need a spot concealer with this foundation, and then just on my forehead. So I would say you would need about maybe one and a half pumps to do two layers all over your face. But yeah, okay, so that's two layers done. I do notice a lot of shine on my face, like especially in my T-zone. And I don't believe it's my oils. I do believe it's the nature of this foundation. Um, it does feel really, really sticky to touch. But when you do touch it lightly, it doesn't take any product away. So I'm not too sure if that's set up. Okay, I think I'm just going to let this set. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I did my eye makeup and I put on my lip products. Yeah. Um, so it's currently 8.27 and yeah, I have gave this foundation a decent amount of time to set into, well, set in general. It does still have a very sticky, not fully set feeling, even though it's been like at least, like I would say half an hour. I would definitely say it's very glowy. Um, this is without any powder, any bronzer, anything like that. I literally just did my eyes and my lips and my eyebrows. Um, it is very, very glowy, and I can start to see my redness coming through. Now I'm just going to conceal under my eyes. I just want to see how well it does in building another product on top of it. I'm just going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just a tiny little bit just to cover up my dark circles. I'm just going to apply some highlighter really, really quickly to the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, next is bronzer. I'm just going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Milk Chocolate Bronzer, just as I would. Okay, I'm going to quickly set my T-zone and under my eyes, just using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. So that's as much as I would do on an everyday basis. Um, again, I'm not wearing a primer. So I guess I'll check back in a few hours. The time's currently 8.39. So yeah, I will see you in a few hours. Hi guys. Okay, so it's currently 1.42. And this is what the foundation looks like. I think it's holding up okay. 
considering I put like the smallest amount of setting powder on, I think it's doing quite well. Um, I do feel like my pores are starting to look a bit prominent here. Foundation on my forehead still looks really, really nice. Um, foundation on my nose looks like it's kind of wearing off. And I can start to see the redness on my cheeks a bit more. Yeah, I can definitely start to see the redness on my cheeks. The one thing I can say is I was taking some selfies before. What's new? And I actually really, really like how I was looking in the selfies. I think they just made me look really, really flawless and nice looking. I don't know. Like it really did make my skin look really, really luminous and really, really pretty. And I really like it. For a hydrating foundation, I don't think it's actually doing too bad. I can understand the sticky nature of it um, and also the glowiness of it like because it's hydrating and whatnot. I'm going to quickly powder just with my MAC MSF. The reason why I use this one opposed to any other one is because I've used this the most um, in regards to very low coverage powders. Like it blends into pretty much nothing. So again, I'm just going to go around my nose. And it isn't caking up when I'm applying this either, which is quite nice. Let me try my forehead. I'm also just going to put on this part of my cheeks. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'll check back at the end of the night. Hi everyone, so I'm back with my final update. It's the end of the night. It's 7.24. If I shot this any later, then there would be no light at all. So... Yeah, that's why I'm doing it so early. Sorry about that if that irritates anybody. But it's been on for at least 10 hours, I would say. Uh, I would say that I can definitely see my redness on my cheeks now. And my pores are looking a little bit prominent, like just in this section here. And definitely all the foundation has rubbed off my nose. My nose looks really, really, really shiny. I think the only part where it did truly wear off was my nose. And generally, I would always wear a primer. Today, I didn't wear a primer at all because I did want to test it on its own. Um, and in regards to my pores, even though it has sunken in, it's not that bad. Like, nothing that using, like, Benefit Professional or any of those type of pore-filling silicone-based primers won't fix. I think for just having a light dusting at the start of the day just to set it and then once in the middle of the day... I don't think it's actually doing it that bad for itself, considering that it is a hydrating foundation. Um, I don't think it could live up to its 16-hour claim without touching up, I don't think. But yeah, overall, I really do like the finish. It's really, really nice on the face. It didn't feel heavy when I wore it throughout the day, and it has kind of worn away evenly besides my nose. Would I recommend it if you were of oily skin? I'm not too sure, because I have quite normal combination skin myself and like I'm getting really really oily yeah there's not much else I should say if you were looking for an SPF in your foundation I wouldn't recommend this week because it doesn't have any um if you did want to try out this foundation and SPF is a concern for you then wear a UV base underneath or an SPF underneath I should say um but yeah overall I think considering I put the lightest coverage powder that I could on it and it was literally just to set it, I think it did quite nice. I'm just going to grab my MAC Studio Fix powder, and I'm just going to do one final touch-up with a full coverage powder and see if it cakes up. I'm just putting it where I need it as well, which is basically along the central area of my face. I think overall I do like this foundation. It is very glowy, so I would, if you don't like that glowy look, then... I might say put a powder over it, but overall I really, really like how it photographs. And also I was filming a video before this and my skin just looks so nice. I really, really liked it. What do you guys think? But anyway, I hope that was helpful to somebody. And yeah, so if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.